Hey guys, Game Dev Coach here. In this video, I'll be going over what version control system is and why you need to use one as a game developer. If you are new to my channel, then consider subscribing so you don't miss any future videos. And do well to leave a like on the video because it helps with the YouTube algorithm. So without further much ado, let's get started. Version control. Version control system is a tool that permits multiple users to work on a group of files collectively. It maintains a history of each file so that changes can be tracked and reverted if necessary. It permits multiple users to modify files, even the same file, simultaneously, without everyone stomping on each other's work. Version control gets its name from its ability to track the version history of files. It is sometimes called source control because it is basically used by computer programmers to maintain their source code. However, version control can be used for other kinds of files as well. Version control systems are usually best at managing text files for reasons we will discover later on. However, many game studios use a single version control system to manage both source, source code files, which are text, and game assets like textures, 3D meshes, animations, and audio files, which are usually binary. Some of you may ask, why use version control? Version control is crucial whenever software is developed by a team of multiple engineers. Version control, first of all, provides a central repository from which engineers can share source code. Secondly, it keeps a history of the changes made to each source file. Thirdly, it provides mechanisms allowing specific versions of the code to be tagged and later retrieved. And lastly, it permits versions of the code to be branched off from the main development line, a feature often used to produce demos or to make patches to older versions of the software. A source control system can be useful even on a single engineer project. Although its multi-user capabilities won't be relevant, its other abilities such as maintaining a history of changes, tagging versions, creating branches for demos and patches, tracking bugs etc are still invaluable. Now that you know why you should use version control, let's look at some of the common version control systems on the market right now. Here are the most common source control systems you probably encounter during your career as a game engineer. The first one is SCCS and RCS. The source code control system and the revision control system are two of the oldest version control systems. Both employ a command line interface. They are prevalent primarily on Unix platforms. The second one is CVS, the concurrent version system. It's a heavy-duty professional-grade command line-based source control system, originally built on top of RCS but now implemented as a standalone tool. CVS is prevalent on Unix systems but is also available on other development platforms such as Microsoft Windows. It is open source and licensed under the GNU General Public License. CVSNT, also known as WinCVS, is a native Windows implementation that is based on and compatible with CVS. Third on the list is Subversion. Subversion is an open source version control system aimed at replacing and improving upon CVS because it is open source and hence free. It is a great choice for individual projects, student projects, and small studios. The fourth is Git. This is an open source revision control system that has been used for many vulnerable projects, including the Linux kernel. In the Git development model, the programmer makes changes to files and commits the changes to a branch. The programmer can then merge his changes into any other code branch quickly and easily because Git knows how to rewind a sequence of diffs and reapply them onto a new base revision. A process gets calls rebasing. The net result is a revision control system that is highly efficient and fast when dealing with multiple code branches. Git is a distributed version control system. Individual programmers can work locally much of the time, yet they can merge their changes into a shared code base easily. It's also very easy to use on one person software project because there's zero server setup to worry about. More information on Git can be found in the description below. Next on the list is Perforce. 
Air Force is a professional grade source control system with both text based and GUI interfaces. One of Perforce's claims to fame is this concept of change list. A change list is a collection of source files that have been modified as a logical unit. Change lists are checked into the repository automatically. Either the entire change list is submitted or none of it is. Perforce is used by many game companies including Naughty Dog and Electronic Arts. Next on the list is NXN Alien Brain. Alien Brain is a powerful and feature-rich source control system designed for the game industry. Its biggest claim to fame is its support for very large databases containing both text source code files and binary game art assets. With a customizable user interface that can be targeted at specific disciplines such as artists, producers, or programmers. Last on the list is Clear Keys. Rational Clear Keys is a professional grade source control system aimed at very large scale software projects. It is powerful and employs a unique user interface that extends its functionality of Windows Explorer. I haven't seen clear case used as much in the game industry, perhaps because it's one of the most expensive version control systems. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video to the end. If you are still watching, then give this video a like and subscribe so that you don't miss any future videos in the series. Thanks. Peace.